Hello. Jane Austen came alive for me particularly this year, though I've always been a fan, because I did some things together that I didn't before. First of all, I read all her six books closely together because I was preparing to devise and deliver a short two-hour workshop on writing with Jane Austen. And I also came across, almost accidentally, her, her house, travelling through England with my husband. All that preparation, putting together the, the workshop, made me look at her with fresh eyes and see that actually there was a whole lot of links between Jane Austen and the times we find ourselves in. This is also the first time I'm doing the booktube Jane Austen July festival, so to speak, online, taking part. So many things happening. It's hosts. Our books and things, Spinster's Library and Blatantly Bookish. I'm also going to take part in a Jane Austen July read-along with Steve Donoghue and Hannah's books. And I'm looking forward to that. Visiting Jane Austen's cottage at Chawton was a lightning moment for me. I'd seen the photographs. Yes, I knew she lived at Chawton for the end of her life, but it was a completely different feeling to sit nearby. To feel like she was a real person. And as I walked to her house, I was probably walking the same route she had gone many times. It helped that I had seen the brilliant Channel 4 programme where Mariella Frostrup was considering how much Jane Austen loved the landscape. And she emphasised how Austen loved to walk and how what she saw inspired her writing. Perhaps other people would like to be inspired by Jane Austen to write too. So I designed a two-hour workshop and delivered it. The feedback was positive and one student said it gave her ideas for a new novel. So I'm running this workshop again on the 6th of July online via Zoom so people can take part anywhere in the world. When I was researching for this workshop I was inspired by other people's insights like the excellent videos that are on YouTube already, the British Library manuscripts showing Jane Austen's handwriting on pages. I'm always encouraged to see the crossouts in famous writers set writing and that encourages me that the first draft is only the beginning. YouTube has also got a brilliant video set in Chawton House and Jane's brother owned that estate and of course she lived in Chawton Cottage and in this video on YouTube you can see a whole discussion about the idea of garden and landscape in Jane Austen showing the grounds of Chawton House and humour. I am always here for humour. So I like the five minute animated video called The Wicked Wit of Jane Austen by Isolt Gillespie by Ted Ed. It's such a good introduction to Jane Austen in just five minutes. Hi, I'm going to celebrate. I was so inspired by seeing Jane Austen walking in scenery and landscape and how much it was part of her life. I'm going to try and do a short walk in greenery each day, ideally early in the morning. Secondly, I'm going to take part in Booktube Jane Austen July by rereading Pride and Prejudice with Booktubers Steve Donoghue and Hannah. Thirdly, I'm going to try and write letters to friends. The epistolary novel and writing letters was a big deal for Jane Austen. People lived far apart and wrote to keep in touch. And fourthly, I'm going to tutor my two-hour workshop again. More details are on Eventbrite and a link is in the video description. It's so amazing to think that Jane Austen, when she was busy hundreds of years ago writing and editing and having business deals with publishers, her dreams of what would happen to her books probably did not include that her writing would still be so important to so many people. And I think that's what's astounding and encouraging about Jane Austen July on BookTube.